on this tail of tape, 42. I had him at 43, somewhere around in the 40s. <laughs> They're fighting at 143. The height advantage, as usual, goes to the other guy that'll be going to Robinson, and the reach advantage goes to Ivan Robinson. Let's see. He'll be mad at me if I gave him an extra year. Let's see. He's born January, July 12, 1962. Not quite 43. California rules, three judges, 10 points, no standing eight count. The three knockdown rule is not in effect. If there's an accident or accidental bunt or an incident like that, they go to the scorecards after four rounds. So they got to go to at least four to get an official fight. Well, uh, Sal, that was quite a uh, quite a throwdown between those two. I think, you know, uh, most of the fans are a little exhausted from that <laughs> fight. At <laughs> home, I'm sure, we need, we need a little bit of a break here. Uh, tremendous. And maybe someday down the line, uh, they'll have dinner together and take a look at the videotape of this fight because they're obviously good pals. And yeah. With these two, I think that's very possible that that'll happen. Maybe not that far down the line. With Barrera and Morales, that'll never happen. <laughs> no. <laughs> now here's some music. Well, there won't be any rest there. <laughs> Sal, here they come. Here comes Mighty Robinson out of Philadelphia. Ivan Robinson is a, a big 76ers fan. He was wearing a uh, 76ers outfit yesterday when he uh, met with us to discuss today's fight. He said he went through a very arduous training program in North Carolina and uh, looked at lots of videotape of various fighters, especially Larry Holmes. Uh, his dad wanted him to look at the classics. He looked at videotape of Larry Holmes, Sugar Ray Robinson, and Jake LaMotta, but they, they specifically looked at Larry Holmes' jab, who obviously he was a master at it. And, and the parallel is he's fighting Holmes beat Ali late in his career with the jab, and he's fighting a legend tonight, probably ending his career, and he thought that would be a good comparison, Larry Holmes, Muhammad Ali. I don't know if that'll work, but that was the general idea. But it's a good plan. And another thing for him that will help him tonight is the fact that he's been reunited with his father as a, you know, as his trainer in his corner and a confidant, because they were strange for a long time. And here comes the legend. I assume they won't be carrying Julio Jr. on their shoulders. makes the hair stand up. Rich, if you had any, it'd stand right up. <laughs> well, maybe it'll help some grow. <laughs> <laughs> you came into the ring and pumped that glove into the air, and this place just went electric. And did you see that mile-wide grin on his son's face as he led him into the ring? We're ready to go. Lupe Contreras with the introductions, if you please. 
Ladies and gentlemen, from Staples Center in downtown Los Angeles, California, Bob Arum's Top Rank Incorporated, in association with SportsBird.com and Sequan Resort and Casino, present the main event of the evening. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to ask you to please stand, or remain standing, I should say, as we pay tribute to both nations being represented here this evening. Introducing first, he will be singing the Mexican national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Mario Adeo. Mexicanos al grito de guerra, el acero aprestado y el bridón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Siño patria, tú sienes de oliva, de la paz el arcángel divino, que en el cielo tu eterno destino por el dedo de Dios se escribió. Mas si osare un extraño enemigo, profanar con sus plantas tu suelo, pienso patria querida que el cielo, un soldado en cada hijo, un soldado en cada hijo de Dios. Mexicanos, el grito de guerra, el acero aprestado y el bridón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. Y retiembla en sus centros la tierra al sonoro rugir del cañón. ¡Sí! ¡Viva México! our nation and our troops abroad. Singing the national anthem, ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for Anne-Marie Boscovich. Oh, Ladies and gentlemen, Anne-Marie Boscovich. And now, ladies and gentlemen, from a jam-packed Staples Center, this is the main event of the evening. Scheduled for 10 rounds of boxing in the welterweight division. The judges scoring this bout are David Dinkins, Lou Filippo, and David Mendoza. The third man in the ring, referee Raul Gais Jr. And now, 
Damas y caballeros, veremos quién es el más macho. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he steps in wearing blue trunks trimmed in orange and weighing in at an official 143 pounds. His professional record, 32 victories with nine losses, two draws, and 12 of his victories coming by way of knockout. He is a former USBA and former NABA lightweight champion. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, mighty Ivan. is opponent across the ring in the red corner. He steps in wearing the colors of Mexico, green, white, and red. And weighing in at an identical 143 pounds. Of the countless legendary Mexican warriors to step in the ring, he is regarded as the greatest of all time. Tonight, he bids farewell to his millions of adoring fans and to a stellar career consisting of 106 victories with five losses, two draws, and an incredible 88 victories coming by way of knockout. The former super featherweight, former lightweight, and former super lightweight champion of the world. De Culiacán, Sinaloa, México. El gran campeón mexicano, Julio César Amazing respect shown by Ivan Robinson for Julio Cesar Chavez. He went over to his corner during the introductions and bowed in respect to twice to him and just kissed him on the cheek before uh, the referee's instructions. Amazing. Only in this sport. Only in this sport. By the way, uh, we said that uh, he went to uh, Robinson went to school on Larry Holmes. My friend Len Triolo, who's a, a, a music producer, came over and said the music he walked into was Ain't No Stopping Us Now, which was Larry Holmes' theme. That's right. <laughs> so he's pulling out every edge he can get. <laughs> Round one, scheduled for 10. I think you know who's in the red trunks. And part of the story that should be brought about Julio Cesar Chavez is that he has not had a drink for five months. The story being that his didn't want to, he loves his family so much he was hugging them in the corner before the fight did not want to be an embarrassment to his son. And at this stage in his life felt like it was time to straighten up he didn't want to go to his fights and be an embarrassment to his son that's how much pride he has in his family. And and himself. At his best Ivan Robinson was a fine contender. Defeated Arturo Gotti on two occasions. The only fighter to do that, by the way. His good skills and uh, could get around that ring pretty good and mix it up. And he was in action fights, even though he was a good, skilled boxer as well. For 25 years, Julio Cesar Chavez has been the king of boxing. And his fans are savoring every last moment. There are those who transcend their sport and reach another level like Babe Ruth, Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan. And in this sport, especially in the country of Mexico, it was Julio Cesar Chavez for over a decade dominated. Well, it is amazing the hold he has on his fans that he could pack this arena the way he has here tonight and they feel all of the love that he still gets from them. 
Robinson trying to start something here. He connected with the left-right combination to the head. Yeah, he's boxing a good round. But Chavez was always a guy where it takes a period of time where he's beating down his opponent. That was always his forte. Little by little. And Even if it took to the last two seconds of a fight. <laughs> well, it was never more dramatically proven than that night against Meldrick Taylor. Which, by the way, Sal, has a part in this fight tonight as well, because Ivan Robinson said that Meldrick Taylor was a friend of his, and he said when he watched that fight, and when Chavez beat Meldrick Taylor, it cut the heart out of Philadelphia boxing. And to think there was only a stop on the way for Chavez. Chavez sharpshooting. He connected with a left right to the head of Robinson just before the bell. Look at me. When he throws his left, come over with your right. After 114, 15 fights, can you really tell a fighter <laughs> what to do? You can tell him, but he may not listen. <laughs> I couldn't tell Jose Luis. <laughs> and these fighters have been out here like this. The second round, uh, the first one, uh, rather uneventful, except for that flurry by Chavez just before the bell. I want to say, too, that Chavez looks to me like he's gotten himself into pretty good condition for this fight. He hasn't come out like some fat blob and, and uh, just tried to rip off a, a lot of money. He, wanted to, he wants to look good, he said. He wants to. He wants uh, everybody to be proud of this fight of his. He's going to get a warning right now almost. No, he didn't. But, but he still tapped the glove of Robinson. He had made a mistake. <laughs> Robinson taps him on the posterior and does it again. <laughs> this right uppercut by Robinson was the best punch of that exchange. And let's see if he can utilize that uh, Larry Holmes jabs. He's trying. And if Larry, if you're watching at home back at Easton, how do you do? <laughs> well, that was a great champion, Larry Holmes. A great style, one of the best ever, I think. So I was looking for an opening here, and... Ivan Robinson holding his arms up high to prevent a difficult uh, target for him. Well, if Chavez has 50% of what he used to have going to the ribs, that's going to be enough because it hurts. He used to be able to chop all his opponents down, wear them down, impose his will upon them. And that's why they loved him so much. He exemplified the true Mexican champion. Always coming forward, always outworking you. Chavez uh, trying to work on that body now. That's what he'll do. And Robinson better not, I would think, lay up against those ropes too much and allow himself to be hit to the body. Right hand by Chavez to the head of Robinson. Robinson comes back with a left right to the head. Now it's Chavez on the ropes. And Robinson's trying to start something here. And maybe he's being lured by the, the legend. A pretty good flurry of shots, though, by Robinson, throwing them with uh, some real intention, intention behind him. He's flicking that Holmes jab. Chavez with a clubbing left hand at the top of the head. Final seconds, round two, and he works the body.
This one's heating up. 37 world championship fights for Chavez. And look at this. Since his first win, now and then, 1980, gas was a buck 35 a gallon. <laughs> the president was Jimmy Carter. If you went to the movies, it cost you $4.50. <laughs> Eric Morales was three years old. Jose Luis Castillo was nine. <laughs> Jorge Arce wasn't was even months. a year old. <laughs> He's still pooping in his pants. <laughs> Well, here he is. Unbelievable. 43 years old. It was really amazing. Castillo, we asked him before his fight with the Corrales, do you think that now, you know, with this winning streak you've had, you're really getting big in Mexico, you can be like Chavez? And he said, well, maybe I could be like Morales. Maybe I could be like Barrera. But Chavez? No. <laughs> you know, this is a really hard sport to do a victory lap in, though. You know, you just can't just show up and wave. You got to go fight somebody. <laughs> and I think, you know, Julio knows it's not going to be handed the win here tonight by this kid, Ro uh, Robinson, who needs a left hand and staggers back to the ropes. Is he hurt? Yeah, that looked like it bothered him some. Uh, the yes. way his legs went. Robinson doing a lot of missing here, but he was staggered. You know, what happened last year when Chavez fought that Mexico farewell fight against Frankie Randall was you had both fighters who had slipped a, a certain percentage, but they had both slipped enough to make it a compelling fight against the against each other. Ooh. And Chavez won that one, their rubber match. And that's what people were hoping here tonight. They know Chavez. No one's trying to say that Chavez is the Chavez of old. They know Chavez has slipped. He's not the fighter that he was. That They're, they're hoping that uh, with Robinson perhaps slipping an equal amount, you might end up with a competitive fight here. So far, it's turning out that way. Robinson's. Is that Larry Holmes' autograph on the back of Robinson's pants? <laughs> His trunks? I believe it is. He's having trouble holding them up. They might have belonged to Larry Holmes. So far, Robinson is uh, holding his own here. He's certainly not intimidated. He doesn't look nervous. Chavez expertly keeping on the outer edges of that jab. Well, fighters who have given Hector Camacho trouble, or excuse me, uh, the trouble uh, for Chavez in recent years have been fighters who have been on the move in his uh, waning years. Cornell Whitaker, Willie Wise, Frankie Randall. Now Chavez, this is where he wants Robinson. Suffered a bad defeat from the great Costa Zoo. But didn't you expect more movement from Robinson? I mean, he's got a 20-foot ring. He's not using it. Yeah. Well, he's trying to box him, but without, without a lot of lateral movement. Right hand by Chavez to the head. Mm. He's trying to let that jab do most of the work for him. You don't want to stand right there against Chavez. I don't care if he is 42 years old. Last seconds, round three. Left club, a left hand by Robinson to Chavez. His head dances away. Nothing much really being said at all in the Chavez corner. I bet Chavez tonight doesn't, in his mind, doesn't feel he's 43. I mean, you're in the middle of a fight like this. 
He, he's not gauging himself how old he is or how many fights he's had. It's another fight. He's just gauging himself against the guys in front of him, what yeah. he can do to beat him. Yeah. Right hand by Chavez, and he digs two lefts to the body of Robinson as we begin round four. It's scheduled for 10. The thing I'm noticing about Ivan Robinson is that he still maintains the skill in terms of his jab, in terms of his technique of punching, but his legs look unsteady to me. They Chavez. look like those of a, a fighter who's seen his better days. Three left hands by Chavez. Textbook, two to the head and one to the body. Robinson with his own left hand. And there's that jab. In your mind's eye, you can go back 10, 15 years and envision Chavez cutting the ring off and going to the body like that. It's just the same guy, a little older, a little slower. Warning of a low blow to Chavez. It's the first warning to come out. Right hand lead by Chavez. Chavez with a left hook to the head. And the crowd comes alive. Robinson takes a right hand and goes down. A right hand lead by Chavez. Count is five, six, up at seven. That came out of the blue. Sure did. See if Julio can finish him. You see the clock, less than 40 seconds to go in the round. Chavez has time. Two right hand by Chavez. Robinson ducks underneath. And runs. That jab won't do him any good now. Another right hand by Chavez. Left to the head. Robinson's in trouble. A little wobbly. He's got blood coming out of his nose. Seconds to go on the round. Chavez left to the body. Right to the head. Left to the body. Another left to the head. And Julio dominated that round. Still mindful of the body attack as a good pro would be when after he knocked his man down. There's another great Mexican champion, Eric Morales. He has won three weight, three championships and three weight divisions. Emulating the great Chavez. And they're saying hello to him in the crowd. Here we go. Let's see this punch. Boom. <laughs> How about wow. that for hand speed, even in slow motion? <laughs> he doesn't look so old in this punch. Oh, we never saw it coming. One right hand lead. Beautiful. Textbook. That's beautiful. Catch him underneath the nose, it looked like. Ivan looked like he might not be willing to get up, but then he jumped up. That five, the five count. Schedule for 10. Robinson takes a left right to the head, and Julio said before the fight, if I no don't knock him out within six rounds, then I'll retire, for, for real. It's a different Robinson now. He gets backed up by a left hook to the head, takes another right, misses with three punches. Every time Chavez seems to pick up that momentum and pick up the speed coming in, then that's when Robinson flurries and gets himself back into the fight. Right hand lead again by Julio, connected. Now left hook to the head, backs up Robinson. 
Old man still has some power you have to deal with. Another right hand to the head. Robinson shakes his head. No, you didn't hurt me. Which means he did. Yeah. If this keeps up this way, he will get him in six. Robinson trying to stay out of harm's way with that jab and is using lateral movement in this round. Not dancing, but just continuing to move. Right hand again by Chavez to the chin of Robinson. Robinson's having trouble breathing. Robinson's a game kid, I'll tell you what. He's in there with a terror. <laughs> Not the first one to find that out. Folks came to see a show tonight. Not disappointed. Junior knocks his opponent out in 42 seconds, and Senior landing those big hard punches he's famous for and built his life and reputation around. Chavez with two left hooks, and the mouthpiece comes out of the jaw of Ivan Robinson. Referee calling time. They'll replace that. They'll stop the clock. Time's back in. Of course, if he spits it out, he gets penalized, especially a second time in one round. Robinson's unloading himself. He's fighting back. Yes, he is. But, <laughs> but he's stiff legged as the round comes to an end. And the referee scores a knockdown. Mixing up right there in the middle, the more accurate punches going to Chavez, who's uh, inflicting more damage, I think, Rich, more harm than he's accepting. Bud Robinson fighting back, trying to throw in flurries. Did have his moments, and his jab has at times been effective. There's Julio in that same hunched over, staring <laughs> across the ring posture that he's had between rounds throughout his career. We're in the second half of the fight. Will it go the distance? Will Julio leave with a flourish? That was excellent work there by Robinson. Quick combination and get out of there. Right hand top of the head of Robinson. Robinson trapped in his own corner. His problem is, is his legs just aren't good. He's really struggling to breathe, huh? Chavez won't get him get, let him get out of there. He, he finally spins out. He fights out of there. Not bad. You know, some people find it hard to get out of bed in the morning at age 42, much less get in here and go 10 rounds. I mean, come on. Chavez with a right to the head. Couple lefts, the second one to the body. Robinson now on the take. I think that body attack is uh, working for Chavez. Didn't it always? 
It's, it, you know, it's typical. This is a typical Ooh. fight of, of his career. I mean, it's, he's just working his way toward his man, beating him down to the body, breaking him down bit by bit. The young fighters obviously can go to school on this. I mean, it's just perfection. Textbook. You just chop him down little by little. You got a guy in trouble now with a bloody nose. He can't barely breathe. He's trying to breathe out of his mouth. That's part of the damage been done. His ribs are sore, bringing his gloves down. He's trying to throw a flurry now, but it's what, it's what this great champion did over the years. Robinson's mouthpiece came out again, by the way. And referee Raul Caiz has let the action continue now for about a good 40 seconds since it came out. And now he calls time. One more time, he's going to take a point away as if it matters. He hasn't won a round. Seems to get uh, renewed energy once he gets his mouthpiece put back in. Chavez stalking him as we come down the stretch of the round. <laughs> well, it's quite a legacy for this man. Will his rule of the game for 25 years. Pro debut, 1980. First world title in 1984. Second world title, 1987. Third world title, 1989. His 100th win came just eight years ago. And he started his career, debuted at age 17. He started his career with 43 and 0 with 40 knockouts. Before he got his first world title. That's kind of special. 43 fights and 40 knockouts. Hit him with combinations, Julio. Hit him with your combinations. Julio really hasn't been unleashing combinations tonight. It's been mostly one punch at a time, but they've been big punches when they've landed. I think it's fair to say his fans want him uh, to leave with a knockout. I just, you know, I'm looking at Julio's body in there. It looks pretty good. Doggone, he really, he must have really worked hard for this fight. Like Ted Williams hits one out, last of bat. That's right. That's what they want. Right hand by Robinson, but that was off the shoulder of Chavez. That's laughing in the last round. Robinson tried to touch gloves, and Julio kind of looked at him like, hey, we're busy here. I better be tough to get a taxi tonight in Mexico City. <laughs> you be walking. <laughs> As we approach the halfway round to round seven, we've had one knockdown in the fight. Robinson went down from the right hand. There have been no cuts in either fighter's face. Chavez is having fun. It's hard to tell. Same same guy for the last 25 years. Now Robinson stands there and drops his gloves. <laughs> Maybe he's tired. Right hand at the chin of Robinson by Chavez. Robinson trying to mount an, an offense here. Things have quieted down. Yes. 
Looks like Julio's almost taking round seven off. Left hook by Chavez, right by Chavez. Just as I said that. And there goes that mouthpiece again. Oh, you're going to hear it now. This is the third time it's happened. Move, and they're point. taking a point away. Okay, come on, let's go. Come on, baby. If that continues, I got to disqualify you for not, for not having. You can't do this because I got to disqualify you for not having the right mouth. Raul Caiz is warning him about a possible disqualification. And of all the possible outcomes, that would be the worst. Yes. <laughs> and Chavez now sharpshooting. <laughs> Chavez. Robinson gave him a tap on the posterior, and Chavez stopped doing that. <laughs> he gave him a hard little shot to the butt. <laughs> and look at Chavez's face. What was that? <laughs> Just cut it out. No, I'm no, not no, your no, buddy. No, it's right. <laughs> Don't want to be your buddy. Sit on, Alvin. Sit down. Come on, Alvin. Yeah. Why are you standing still on this man? Huh? Here goes some of Chavez's punching power. Nice oh. there with the mouthpiece right there from that left hook to the face. Now he's got him hooked behind the head and giving an uppercut. And end of the round. There it is, the end of the round. <laughs> Didn't show the look that Chavez gave him, though. It was very funny. I have a suspicion he's going to pay for that. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been extremely differential to Chavez since he got here in Los Angeles. He understands this guy's, uh, you know, an icon. The long adios continues. It's the eighth round. Robinson always seems to be staggering, Rich. He's, his legs just aren't good. No, they're just not, you know, they're 34-year-old they're legs. They're the, the legs of a fighter who's been in a lot of uh, tough battles. Yeah, the one thing he forgot in that Holmes-Ali comparison was that Holmes was young. But on the way up. Right hand by Chavez. And down goes... Not the fighter, the mouthpiece. <laughs> uh, you know, it's an ill-fitting mouthpiece. You can see it hanging out of his mouth much of the fight. He's not spitting it out. It's embarrassing for him, and Raul Caiz did not deduct the point. Well, he doesn't want to end this fight on a DQ, you know. Unless something unbelievable happens, Chavez is going to win the fight. Robinson can still prove slippery. Even though his legs aren't there, he still knows how to evade a punch. No steam on his punches now, though. He's, uh, he's just trying to survive. Looks like this should be adios for both fighters. <laughs> Getting a little sloppy now. Chavez as we count down the final seconds of round eight.
Todo está bien. Nos quedan dos rounds. Vamos a hacer el primero. Se la va a ir, ¿verdad? Salta, 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 derecha. Ya lo saliera. Ya lo notamos. Ya lo notamos. Usa tu experiencia. Usa tus cintas. Y usa tu mano izquierda. En la media distancia, si le das la mano, no te va a tocar nada. No Use que your que left and move. Trabaja para que no te toquen. Es lo que tienes que hacer. Ya, ya nos dimos cuenta que está lastimado. Don't let him touch you. Le deja la izquierda y desplazamiento con cintura. No cuelgues la mano. ¿Entendiste? No tienes que ir para atrás. Lo quieres a mano. Hit him with your left and move. Todo bien. Todo bien. Julio, échale ganas. Next to last round, if it goes the distance of 10. You look around the room and you see how these faces are all fixated on their hero. It's very funny. We've had, we had, we've had no incidents of uh, insurrection here today. <laughs> well, Chavez is fighting. Robinson's punches, mostly arm punches now. No real body behind them. The highlight of the fight so far was that knockdown. Almost one there. Yes, that left hook by Chavez. Robinson's really, uh, I don't know what this is. Reversed unicycle looks like. And there, you see Robinson connected nothing on those punches. He's going to have a sore right hip. He did come into the ring with a plan, though. And uh, to some extent, he's, he's carried out, but it still hasn't been good enough to beat Chavez. In terms of uh, utilizing some movement, utilizing a good jab, trying to keep Chavez at bay when Chavez would come in by utilizing a stiff jab. There it is. He's fighting a pretty good round right here. <laughs> he got tangled up and tagged. Chavez working the body. Yeah, really hard to. Chavez had been in with many fighters who tried to jab him. His answer to that was always take the body away from him. Last time that Chavez fought here in Los Angeles, 1989. It's a long time, that 16 long? years ago, since he fought here in Los Angeles. He fought uh, Roger Mayweather at the Forum. Now, he did fight down in nearby Anaheim about uh, eight years ago or so. Well, I tell you, I've been here in L.A. about that long since his last fight here. And there's never been a more popular athlete over that streak among the populace here in Los Angeles. Never, De La Hoya could never surpass his popularity. Look at that combination, Mike Chavez. That's fun to watch. See. Robinson now staggered. How much more of this does he want? And Robinson did tag him with a right hand, but uh, Julio's giving the crowd what they want. Good attack by Julio combined with those uh, no longer mobile legs. They are wobbling. In the glory that was Rome, returning warriors came back to the adulation of, of their people. And this is the same thing. I mean, Julio is riding down the Boulevard of Champions tonight. This crowd just loves him. They've come out and they spent their money to watch him. You at home have tuned in as it should be. He deserves this kind of adulation. Three minutes to go. The question is, is this really the final three minutes for him? Is this his last fight? Can he really say goodbye? 
Chavez seemed to be complaining about his right hand in the corner that he had hurt his hand. Let's see if he throws it much in this round at all. If he doesn't throw it, we'll know he's throwing his left hook. It's all he's thrown so far in the round. Yep. Well, he's got the fight one, so doesn't have to take any chances. All left hands, you're right, look at this. He's throwing all left hands, trying to beat him with one hand. This is amazing. Can he knock him out with only the left? <laughs> this, there's always some new far-reaching world to conquer. All left hand. <laughs> Those are some hard body punches. Julio Cesar Chavez fighting the tenth and final round with one hand. The left. And winning the round with it. Yes. He's showing Robinson the right like he might throw it, but he's <laughs> he hasn't thrown it once in this round. <laughs> Thirty seconds to go. Will it be adios? Or will it be a farewell fight coming to your town soon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why he's protecting the right. One final ovation. They're standing for JCC in LA. That last round. Now you uh, you go do that. I mean, yeah, Mr. just fight with one Mr. hand. Mr. Young fighter, go yeah. do that. Go do that and yeah. win the round. And win the round with one hand. Just kept digging that left hand in there. Saying goodbye to the folks. Tommy Lasorda's on hand to say goodbye. Here's the fans going over to say. Uh, Adios to Mr. Robinson. Right above press row here. Julio uh, leaning on the ropes, savoring the adulation from the fans. And you can, he, Robinson keeps wanting to, to, to raise, to, to, to hug him. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll be getting the official result. On Adios from California in just a minute. Uh, all lefts said complaining before the round that he's just digging those left hands in there. I mean, inflicting damage, you know, without a right hand. And uh, Robinson tonight didn't win a round, had a game plan, but doesn't have the legs anymore to really compete on any sort of level. And Chavez looked rather good on that account. There's his former sparring partner, Jose Luis Castillo, who had the war with Diego Corrales. 
and knocked Corrales down twice, only to become knocked down himself, but he'll be back. Okay, let's get the official announcement from Lupe Contreras. Ladies and gentlemen, before reading the final scorecard, one last round of applause for a true Mexican boxing legend. After 10 rounds of action, the scorecard reads as follows. David Dinkins scores it, 100 to 88. And judges Mendoza and Filippo scored about identically at 99 to 89. To the winner, by way of unanimous decision, El Gran Campeón Mexicano, Julio Cesar Chavez. 25 years, 107 wins, five defeats, two losses, 88 knockouts. We're going to be standing by for the interview with the Grand Champion of Mexico. Okay, let's set it up now to Rich Murata. All right, Julio, and we'll have Ricardo Jimenez will translate for us. Julio, what's it like to feel the love that you got from these fans here tonight? ¿Qué se siente tenerlo, el cariño y el amor que te mostraron esta afición esta noche? Muchas gracias, hice lo, hice lo que pude. Perdóneme, pero es que me lastimé la mano la derecha, pero no es excusa. Gracias a todos por venir. Última vez que yo peleo en Los Ángeles, California. Gracias por ese amor, por ese cariño. Y les dejo, les dejo a mi hijo. Él va a seguir los pasos míos. I want to thank everyone for, uh, I couldn't do a better job tonight. I hurt my right hand, but I'm leaving you my son. Goodbye, Los Angeles. Please keep my son. Tell us about the fight. Here's Ivan Robinson, your, your opponent here today. Tell us about the fight itself with Ivan Robinson. La pelea. <laughs> es mejor peleador de lo que yo pensé. <laughs> Me dijeron que era un pichón, pero no me resultó un nuevo cerrado. It's a lot tougher than they told me he was going to be. They said he was going to be an easy fight. Bueno, un buen peleador. It's a good, real good fighter. Gracias, gracias por, esa, por esa demostración de pelea que me diste. Y gracias a todos ustedes por hacer posible esta pelea. Gracias, los quiero mucho. I want to thank you for giving me a great fight. It was a great job, and thank you everyone for being here. Julio, what did it mean to you tonight to fight with your son here on the same card? And, uh, uh, your same card with your son, Julio Jr. Una, una, a una de las gentes que le quiero dar las gracias es a Abo Arum por hacer posible esta pelea y a mi apoderado Fernando Beltrán. Gracias a los dos por esta, por esta gran oportunidad de despedirme de todos ustedes. Gracias. I want to thank Bob Arum. Fernando Beltran for giving me this opportunity to do a farewell fight here in Los Angeles. Bob, you want to say anything on behalf of Julio? I want to thank Julio for letting me part, be part of history. This is a great, great fighter, a great man, and I want to thank him for letting me be part of this. Julio, what was it like to fight on this card with your son earlier and then to have your son here again this evening when you fought? <laughs> Pues es una doble satisfacción, una doble alegría, porque creo que mi hijo va demostrando por sí solo que él puede, y yo espero que así como ustedes me quieran a mí, quieran a mi hijo. He's, uh, he keeps showing us. He showed us tonight. He's a great fighter, and I hope that you guys, yes, like you show tonight, and the love that you show tonight, keep showing it for him. Will this be the end for you, Julio, or maybe you, will you fight somewhere else again sometime? La última pelea o quizá otra. La última pelea en Los Ángeles. Gracias a todos ustedes. 
Gracias. Gracias, Los Ángeles. Los quiero mucho. In LA. All right, his last fight in LA. Thank you. Congratulations, Julio. Let's go back to ringside to Sal and Alan. <laughs> What does that well, tell you? Alan, uh, he kept it open, kept the door open, didn't he? Well, he's got 20,000 people here. You know, it's hard to say goodbye when you got so much love coming your way. Well, he gave them what they wanted, and that was a victory to add to his legend. And uh, tonight, he also had the pleasure of watching his son in a, in a, in a, in a, in a tremendous victory. 42 second round, 42 uh, second knockout, first round. Yes, and his son has been developed properly, I think, as you can see by his body. He's got a lot of developing to do along those lines, but you can see that he has the tenacity. He has the know-how in the ring. He's certainly got the right bloodline. That is for sure when you talk about his son. Rich, uh, he said right at the end up there, uh, goodbye, Los Angeles. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, I... I, I'm sure he feels exhilarated right now with what happened tonight. He got the victory. We have another mic here. Thank you. Oh, okay. That he, that he got a victory here tonight, and he's feeling so much love from these fans. So it is goodbye, Los Angeles. But who knows? I mean, like we said, coming to a city near you uh, soon. Perhaps he'll say goodbye to Las Vegas and goodbye to New York. Or whatever. The thing is, is Julio Cesar Chavez is an icon. He's much loved. I mean, you just feel the atmosphere in here. It's a fantastic thing, and at 42 or whatever, there's only one Julio Cesar Chavez. Boxing fans should be mindful. Uh, John Updike once wrote that a retirement for an athlete is a small death. It's a very difficult thing to walk away from. And but you're competing in a, a sport as brutal as this one. It's definitely a sport you don't want to hang around too long in. Now he's not having. I've heard rumors that he actually wants a title shot at someone. <laughs> Now, I don't know how you can make that match up, but I'm, I'm sure he said it. I'm sure that if he could do it, he would do it. Well, he said, you know, at the press conference earlier in this week, well, maybe if I look great, Bob Aram will uh, find a world title shot for me. And, uh, you know, we're not kidding ourselves. I mean, he's not at the caliber of uh, Costa Zoo or any of the, uh, you know, young champions at that point. But he still showed he could get in there, you know, and still go 10 hard rounds. He got himself into pretty good shape tonight. You have to admit that. He went 10 hard rounds. He hurt his uh, right hand quite obviously and uh, could not even throw it in the in the 10th and final round, but still managed to get through the round and do some damage. All okay. All, been a great top rank yeah, fight card, though, Sal. Working, working with you. It's a lot again, of fun tonight wonderful. with you. And all we can give you three words in summation. Chavez, Chavez, and Chavez. Right. Chavez. Julio. Senior Julio Jr. and Jesus Chavez, all victors here tonight at Staples Center. For Rich Morata, Alan Massingale, this is Sal Marciano saying adios. <laughs>